The Turks have always been passionate about the Palestinian cause. Despite the Ankara chill, protesters spent three hours listening to music and speeches. They waved Turkish and Palestinian flags and a fair amount of anti-American signs. Turkey is a majority Muslim country that acts unified and together. It should lead in the Muslim world. If Muslims are united, I'm hopeful the Jerusalem problem will be sorted. Since U.S. President Donald Trump broke with decades of American policy and recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, the Turkish street has been vocal. And President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has emerged as a potent advocate for Palestinians. He's pushing for leaders to take their condemnation and transform it into action. Erdogan is taking his case to the UN Security Council, where he says he hopes to, quote, annul Trump's decision. It's unlikely he'll get much traction, given that the United States holds veto power. But he says, barring success there, he'll move on to the UN General Assembly. It's clear Turkey plans on continuing to persist and highlight this issue on the geopolitical stage. I am actually very glad of the Trump Jerusalem decision as it serves to unite the Muslim world and get them into action. In the most populous Muslim country, an estimated 80,000 Indonesians marched to the American embassy in Jakarta. Muslim clerics are calling for a boycott of American and Israeli products until Trump reverses his decision. I want all Muslims to unite and to urge a president of America to reconsider his decision for the good of all of humanity. That's unlikely, considering that Trump says this is a recognition of reality, and it's in the best interests of the U.S. and the Israeli-Palestinian peace process. But protesters don't see it that way. In Karachi, thousands showed up for what was called the Holy City Million March. Almost two weeks after Trump's announcement, people continue to show their solidarity for Palestinians and in doing so, have also revived global attention to their plight. Natasha Ganane, Al Jazeera, Ankara.